Why did you release Lorenzo? You were just keeping him prisoner to keep yourselves alive. That's a lie. I've worked for centuries to find a way to cure him. But he doesn't want to be cured. He likes what he's become. Hold on there, Jack. She has a point. Your story about curing Lorenzo has never quite added up. What are you doing, Edward? I'd just like to hear what she has to say. She's talked to Lorenzo. I never have. You're saying you think Jack's been lying about Lorenzo all this time. Yes, Lorenzo doesn't seem crazy to me. Although he's understandably pretty pissed off. Well, goddamn. I guess you have some explaining to do, Jack. You can't seriously doubt me, Edward. After all I've done for you? <gasps> oh my... Ah, you're all here. Good. How, how did you get in here? Why so surprised? This is my house, after all. I like what you've done with the place. Lorenzo, thank God you finally escaped. Jack just wouldn't listen. Be you silent. know I would never. You have all betrayed me. Kept me a prisoner and fed off me like vampires to prolong your pathetic work. People can't time. actually live here. That is right. now over. Your time is up. Well, that's done. Thank you for your assistance. You really are insane, aren't you? Perhaps, by the old definitions. But things have changed while I've been locked away. The old rules no longer apply. This new world seems to be one of limitless possibilities for people of our talents and inclinations. I can see that we're gonna get along just fine. Oh, I knew that from the first moment I saw you in that cell. I knew you would understand why freeing me was the right thing to do. But first, one last piece of unfinished business. I promise to share my blood with you. And I always keep my promises. Here is your reward. I will provide you with a lifetime supply as needed. But remember, this is my gift to you. I will give you another vial when you need it, for your own use only. Do not sell it, or throw it away. After business, pleasure. Help yourself to a drink if you like. Jack seems to have done very well for himself, despite everything. 